Uh, good evening and today's video will be mostly about the difference between XPath versus CSS selector. So we will just jump into it directly without wasting too much of time. We will definitely code, uh, we will create uh, separate classes to do this. Uh, so let's jump in and see, uh, there, is a, there is a lot of question asked uh, by my students. Ki, so should we go ahead with XPath or should we go with CSS selector? So uh, these questions will be answered. Let's begin. Okay, so uh, we will do with our typical favorite uh, website, reddiff.com. And let me go ahead and quickly uh, prepare the package for the same. Uh, like I'll create a package. Uh, it will be mostly xpath versus CSS selector. So uh, this is uh, the uh, package which I'm creating. Okay, it is just a dummy package, doesn't matter. So I'll just create a class uh, with uh, Rediff. I'll select the main method itself. So we'll just write the first lines of code. public static web web driver driver dot setup driver is equal to new chrome driver driver dot get so I'll just copy the URL okay now I will begin so okay I forgot to maximize so yeah that's mostly it <clears throat> we'll jump into each and everything and let's go ahead with the discussion about which one should we use? Should we use XPath? Should we use CSS selector? Again, my answer remains the same. It is totally up to you. Uh, they say that CSS selector is little faster than XPath. Maybe internally it is, but the naked eye you will not be able to, you know, you know, even categorize the difference at all. It is not possible visually. So uh, before we go ahead, uh, let me uh, make a notepad. Uh, a new notepad wherein I'll write the XPath and the CSS selector oops sorry for the same web element so what we are going to do basically is we'll just click on sign in link we'll log in we will enter the username enter the password click on sign in and then log out and then click on ready form and come back to this page itself where we started and we will end back in the same page itself so these are certain areas which we need to do so first we'll go for sign in link we'll inspect this we'll do control f so we have a class which has s-i-g-n-i-n value and we have the html tag as a so double slash a at the rate class equal to single quote s-i-g-n-i-n single quote and bracket so this is one of one it is a simple x path which is absolutely fine for sign in link okay so the x path we have designed is this okay let's now design the css selector for the same css selector is very simple we will write a dot S I G N I N, and that's it. Very simple CSS selector we have written here. So, this is how we're gonna write. Okay, so first for S I sign, okay, so for sign in link, we will write driver dot find element by dot xpath dot click 
okay so let me go and copy this x path okay now i'll write driver dot find element by dot css selector dot click i don't know what's happening so i'll just copy the css selector and i'll paste it here there is something going on dot find element by dot css selector dot click so for sign in link we have written an xpath and we have written in css selector as well okay so now let's go into the username field so we'll inspect this we will write uh, the css uh, the xpath as we have id and we have name so i'll just write here input double slash uh, input at the rate id equal to single quote login1 i think this is the id yes it is absolutely fine and if you want you can also write at the rate name just to uh, you know equal to single quote l o g i n uh, this is the login value of the name uh, sorry the value of name is l o g i n so i'll just take this x path for username field so i'll write it here for username x path is this okay now let's go and write this css selector for the same very simple input hash login one this is a css selector which makes our life little easier the css selector is easy in this case i can write different other types of css selectors uh, but i'm choosing not to uh, because we will also have to see what kind of simplicities which we can include but if you want we can write different if you want you can write different let's say for example i chose to use the contains part of it so i'll write class okay star equals to login one i think it is id yes sorry it is id login one so this is a correct css selector i can choose to write this one okay so now let me go ahead and enter this into username text box so let me write driver dot find element by dot x path so it is a username so dot send keys and we know with my username selenium panda at redifmail.com okay so i'll copy the same but i will change it to css selector and that's that's mostly it and i'll go ahead and i'll also write uh, for the password section you know because it will almost be the same password text box I'll copy this and I'll write it here. The only difference is we know the password, which is Selenium at the rate one two three, and that's it. Okay, cool. So now we'll have to enter the username XPath and CSS selector. So this one is for the XPath for username. I'll copy this, paste it inside this string here. For CSS selector, I'll copy this, and I'll paste it here. No problem. Now let's go for password. Inspect. 
So this is for password. So we can choose to, you know, use a little bit of the dynamic concept. Let's say, for example, I want to come from here. Input at the rate ID equal to single quote this. So I'm currently here and I want to come here. So I just have to traverse a little bit. I'll write following div. It is one of 59. So I'll at the rate class equal to single quote row. It is one of one. So we have come here. Now I can write following. Okay, I'll write child colon colon div but it will let's write the position 2 so it will come here and then I can write child input okay I can write at the rate name equal to single quote PSS WD see we can write anything we want you can create whatever type of xpath you want to do I'm just writing as per my wish. You can write your own X path. There is no hard and fast rule that you'll have to uh, totally blindly follow mine. You write your own X path. No one is stopping you. You can make whatever. I have taught you, I think, X path pretty well. So you can use your brains and write whatever X paths you want to write. I just wanted to write something, you know, relative in nature. I can directly use the uh, attributes which is present over here but i'm just writing for the sake because i want to uh, you know explore the vivaciousness of xpath rather than making it uh, very common okay so now if you want to use this using css selector a little complicated one so i'll i'll come from something from here probably okay so that will give 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 us a better picture so i'll write div hash so we are here in the css selector we want to come down here so there is quite a distance which i need to travel so first i'll come to my uh, sibling which is div and i can make it even more precise and then i will write div slash nth child oops what is wrong with me div colon nth minus child and I'll write one so it has come here now let me come to the second uh, okay so I've come here so I'll come to directly this sibling div and write dot row so that's fine now I'll come to div colon nth minus child and two so i've come to my immediate parent and then i can just write input okay i'll write nth of minus type i'm just choosing to write as per my whims and fancy again you don't have to blindly follow you can write your own css selector please watch my videos if you have not watched it thoroughly yet so i'm i've just written uh, something of this sort for password uh, before we go into Eclipse, let's finish uh, all the ones which we have. No, I'm, I'm now I'm going to write simple ones because I think I've written certain complicated ones. So class equal to SIG and BTN. Okay, so I'll copy this double slash input at the rate class equal to single code this. I'm not going to write complicated ones. You can write on your own. So for SIG and uh, IN button x path is this and I'm gonna write a simple input dot s i g n i n b t n so this is my simple css selector because I'm little I'm writing something very simple now okay so this is my css selector for sign in button now let me log in and I'll continue to write simple ones now because I don't want to waste time uh, for this logout link you can write your complicated ones i'll just we are discussing the difference 
class is rd underscore logout anchor uh, anchor tag is here which is html tag so i'll copy this so our xpath is a at the rate class equal to single code this simple one of one absolutely fine for logout link xpath is this no xpath is actually this i didn't copy properly okay now css is a dot this see i can write a lot complicated css selectors but i'm choosing not to because i want to wrap it up fast so once i log out it will come to this ready form so i have to click on ready form i'll inspect this so here i want to write my css selector sorry my xpath so i'll come from here because it doesn't have any attribute so this is a good example i'll copy this i'll come from here from this particular div i have to traverse this much so i'll copy this div and the rate id equal to single quote this sorry it is a class oops my bad class so it is here so i have to just come to this particular portion because ready form is this blue field so i have to traverse this much so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do preceding and i'm going to just do b now if if i'm if i'm if i'm using sorry if i'm using b it comes directly right here so i'll just mention it as one so this is a correct x path okay so i'll write uh, okay ready form link so this is the correct text path which i have written now for css how will i write the css obviously if i have to write the css selector for the same i cannot come from bottom to top i have to somewhere come from top to bottom so i'll have to see whether i can use this class and come so let me try this a dot logo it is one of two so i'm little scared to use this i'm not going to use it i'll come back again to inspect here i have to come here so let me see from where can i come can i come from this new container so let's see i'll take this class c so it is div dot okay it is one of two so i'm little worried i'm not going to use this ready form again so i'll take css selector let's see if header is unique because the route which i want to take i do not want it to be one of two it is, should be one of one so wow so now i have got the css selector from this is the root node and i have to come to this b so technically i'll have to traverse at least till here and then i can jump so what i'll do is i'll go to div nth child one so i'm here then i'm again gonna go div sorry that's that's a so i can stop here i need not write any child and all because this will anyways work okay so now i can come here and write span because i'm just i just moved from this to this and this is my sibling so i can use the plus operator and move and then from here i can write a colon nth minus of minus type 2 so i can come here and from here i can go to b and this will work absolutely fine this is the correct css selector too so again it is up to you how you want to write your css selector make sure the root node is one of one and end at the end it is one of one so that should be your final intention so i've written all these things so let me go ahead and this is for password text box then we'll be writing for sign button so sign button will act almost like this so i'll just change the value here for button we had this as the xpath 
so I'll change it okay and this as the CSS selector so I'll change it save and then next we had logout link I suppose so logout link again is a link so we'll have almost this the only difference is we'll have to change the xpath and css selector inside this particular string i've done that and this is the css selector so i'm gonna change it here save now the final thing is rediff home logo link again it is a link so I'll just copy the same thing the only thing is I'll change this xpath value v and then here I'll write this CSS selector okay I have not applied any sort of uh, what do you call weight conditions which is actually essential because sometimes uh, this place has a problem so I'm gonna give uh, an explicit weight of three seconds so I'll add the throws and add the exception and then I'll uh, repeat the same with uh, this gentleman also it takes time so I've just added three kind of things three seconds kind of explicit weight so technically it will be very difficult for us to judge whether uh, this code will be we will not be able to judge the speed so now first let us run next path so what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment all these CSS selector portion of code so all CSS selector are going in comment mode so right now only the X path will run so let's run this code run as Java application so we are still waiting for the browser to open yes it opens finally Let's click on sign in link, enter the username, let it enter the password, or white is not entering the password. Did we give anything part of it? Oh, oh, uh, what did we do? In the password section oops we left it blank forgot to add this and even for CSS selector we did not add this we should have added the problems of copy paste anyways uh, let's uh, uh, let me close this unnecessary window and let me run this thing again okay so now all our exports are filled so Chrome driver was started successfully let's see what happens I think it should work fine So username is entered, oh, that, that's fast. And even though it is waiting here, because I've given three seconds, and here also it is gonna wait for three seconds, and then it's gonna click on ready form. So it is still okay. I do not have any problem with my code running with XPath, okay? So I'm closing this browser. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mark the XPath code as uh, comments. And I'm going to open up CSS selectors. Okay. So I'm doing that.
Okay, so let me check again. All the XPath code are in comments. Now we are running via CSS selector. So let me run. And I have all, st I'm still keeping uh, three seconds as explicit wait uh, for two operations. That is before uh, logout link uh, appears. And after that, when you log out for the Rediff logo home button. So let's see. Okay. It is faster than XPath for sure. Uh, I think it will be much better judged if I remove the. Um, it is still faster. Even with naked eye, we could see that it is faster. The problem is, uh, you just cannot uh, actually make out how much faster it is. So, again, the question comes back what, what is the basic difference? See, the basic difference which I believe is if I'm writing CSS selector, I have to come from top to bottom. I have no idea as of now how to come from bottom to top. Maybe if I get to know, I'll let you guys know. But as of now, for CSS selectors, I always come from top to bottom. But in case of XPath, I can go from anywhere and everywhere. XPath is, uh, X see, it's not that XPath is more complicated and CSS selector is more simpler. It's not about complications. It's about uh, the comfort level of your see I'm comfortable with both because I have had too much of practice with both you give me an, an assignment to do with XPath I'll do it uh, give me with CSS selectors it's okay with me as well but then again it is purely my choice similarly uh, now coming to one important factor which is more important for interview perspective then by sure it is XPath because see, technically speaking, if 100 people know Selenium, 100 of them would be knowing XPath, okay? And maybe 10 of them have mastered XPath, okay? And out of those 100, uh, 50 would be knowing about CSS selectors and maybe one or two would have mastered it. So the level of interview questions in terms of CSS selector is very less as in today's market. So if you if you count the decision whether you want to go ahead with XPath or CSS selector in your code, again, uh, I'm iterating my same, uh, my answer again, it is purely up to you. Whatever you feel is easy for you. So you like XPath, go ahead. You're confident with XPath, go ahead. You like CSS selectors, go ahead. You can manage everything with CSS selectors, nothing like it. And the code gets a little bit faster. So again, it is purely up to you. Uh, I will go with anything I want. To me, it's okay because I tend to go with both. Mostly, I also go with XPath because XPath, uh, I have a very strong hold with XPath. But then again, it is up to you. So you can choose anything you want. XPath, CSS selector, does not matter. What matters is uh, the root node when you start with it should start with one of one and when you end it should be unique that is one of one and rest it should be accurate and it should give you proper outcome and that's it so I hope with this video there is a little bit of confusion which was there in your head might have been cleared again it is all up to you whatever you want to choose go ahead and choose it I hope you like this session and if you did Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel Automation Hub Sathak. Thank you so much. Sathak here signing off.